Today's ghost story isn't a well-known urban legend like many of the others, but from an article I found online written by someone interested in a local myth. They travelled to Newfoundland to interview a few people with first-hand experience sighting a ghost. This is the story they told. Around the late 1980s, a young lad around the age of 16 was walking home along an old railway track around Manuel's, Conception Bay South in Canada. It was an autumn evening and he was walking alone when he noticed what sounded like footsteps following behind him. At first, he suspected it was just the stones of the old track bed settling behind him as he walked. But as he continued, he noticed that the sound seemed to be some distance behind him. He stopped and looked back. There was nobody around, but the stones about 15 feet behind him were being disturbed as if someone was walking towards him. He ran away from the noise, and by the time he had reached the end of the tracks, the sound had stopped. A lady also gave another account of the story, with her experience with the ghost taking place roughly in 2004 or 2005. She was out late one night with friends, and as they passed by the tracks, she said she spotted a whitish-grey blob, almost akin to a patch of fog, hovering in the middle of the tracks. As she focused on it, she could clearly see it was a woman dressed in an old-style white dress with her head hung low, as if saddened or searching for something. The woman walked from the tracks to a pathway besides the line that led to the road simply before disappearing. The witness wasn't scared, but was convinced of what she saw. After doing a little digging, it was found the ghost was possibly the phantom of a young bride-to-be named Miss Malloy, who was left standing at the altar. She left the church and started walking down the railway line around Eason's Road. When she heard a train coming, she tried to step off the tracks, but her dress got caught on one of the railway ties. Unable to free herself in time, she was struck down by the train. In typical ghost story fashion, it's said her spirit now wanders up and down the line, searching for the man that was meant to be her husband. The story of a bride dying after being left at the altar isn't anything new. In fact, it's a very frequent ghost tale. But the fact that several people have encountered something supernatural in the same place, years apart, is enough to make you wonder if poor Miss Malloy may still be lingering around the area. I suppose it's one wedding day nobody's going to forget anytime soon. Subscribe for more.